This is the guitar lesson for Jonathan Edwards' Sunshine Go Away Today, the easy way and the correct way. First things first, make sure your guitar is in standard E tuning. Then you take your capo, put it on the first fret like so. Alright, let's talk about the strumming pattern first, okay? The strumming pattern is this, it's... So, down, up, down, down, mute, down, up, down, down, mute, down, up, down, down, mute. Down, up, down, down, mute. Down, up, down, down, mute. All right, when I'm muting, I use this part of my palm and I come down on the strings to silence them. And sometimes I even kind of strum a little bit through it when my palm is on there. I do it really fast so you can't really hear it, but I'll, I'll break it down for you, okay? So. When you hear that slap, it's my pick going through the strings like that, okay? It just adds a little bit to the song. All right, let's talk about the intro. The intro of the song is just the A chord, so it goes. All right, could you hear the difference every time I would come down on the A chord? So I would first start off coming down on the lower strings in the A chord, all right? Then the next time around, I would come down on the high strings in the A chord, then the low ones, then the high ones. You can hear that in the actual recording, okay? So keep that in mind. You can put that in the song if you want. You don't have to. Um, anybody who isn't familiar with the song or isn't, you know, a huge Jonathan Edwards fan, I think it was a one-hit wonder. Um, but anyways, I don't think they'd pick up on that. So if, if you don't want to do that, you can just strum through the entire chord, okay? So... Just like that, okay? So the song, the chord progression of the song when it goes into the verse is like this. It's A. And then it goes to E, then A, then D, alright, so I did two strumming patterns worth of D, okay, so I went, and then I go into, so down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Okay, so down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. All right? And then we go back into the verse. A, E, A, D. strumming pattern twice through because we're going into the chorus now and it goes how much will it cost I'll buy it I think how much will it cost or how much does it cost I'll buy it okay so that's D to A it goes and then it goes so you play that twice okay so the next part goes D, A, G, E, okay? And this part I want to make it ring, okay? Because this is where the song, it's kind of like the climax of the song or the climax of the chorus. So it goes. Back in the verse. Okay? So the chorus of the song again is this, okay? So it's. basically taking the mutes out and letting my chords ring so it's it's still that same pattern it's uh, let's see here down 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 up 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 
And for E, you can strum through um, really hard and then soft, so hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft. Or you can go. So down, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And play that twice. And then you go right back into the verse. So the And that's the entire song. The last part I want to show you is the outro of the song, okay? Which goes something like this. Okay? And what that was, was you take your, let's see here. Um, we've got the cap on the first fret, so everything is in relation. This is our new first fret. The, the second fret is our new first fret. So it's going to be here. It's take your ring finger, put that up on the seventh fret. Um, take your 7th uh, fret G string, your pinky is going to go on the 7th fret B string, and your pointer finger is going to go on the 5th fret E string, okay? And you strum with the open D, okay? So we go. That's our first chord. And now our second chord is like a bar chord right here. It's a fraction of a bar chord, so it's your middle finger on the 7th fret... Uh, Let's see here. I'm sorry, the sixth fret G string. You've got your pointer finger barring the fifth fret B and E string. So you have this chord. All right. It should sound like that. And last but not least, we go down to the fourth fret on the G string. Okay. And that's our last chord. It's just our middle finger on the fourth fret G string right there. And you play D all the way through the E. Everything's open though, okay? So it should go. Whoop, I messed that up, so. Do that twice. Then we end on A. And that's the entire lesson, okay? So. So a lot of this strumming pattern, if, if you're having issues with the strumming pattern, um, what you can do is just slow it down. Start very slow strumming like that and then gradually get faster and faster and faster. Sit in front of your TV with your electric guitar or just be, be, uh, uh, be quiet with your acoustic if you can be quiet with your acoustic and just practice over and over and over again that strumming pattern, okay? And you'll get it down and you'll get it down in your muscle memory to where you can speed it up as fast as you like and it'll sound awesome, okay? So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Twitter. And if you haven't already, please go to my website, guitarmadeeasy.com, and uh, check out all that I can offer when teaching you how to play guitar. So thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next guitar lesson. Thanks.